Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, we'll try to answer a question which is should I be a data analyst or data scientist for a fresher? So this is a very good question and uh, I think it depends on quite a lot of factors like uh, where you are in your uh, data science, data analytics journey, uh, what you like to do with the data and uh, how much time you have. So depending on all those factors, I think you will be able to decide whether to get into data science or data analytics. That's exactly what we are going to answer in this video. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to decide which one to pick. So let's get this video started. But as always, if you're new here, already subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming Creator family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It always keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys. And I always do live Q and A's on Saturday 12 p.m. UK time, so you can join me there as well. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So the first question is, what is the difference between data science and data analytics? So in data analytics, you answer one question, which is what has happened in the past. So you do quite a uh, different kind of analysis. You do uh, some charting, plotting, and things like that, and then you see that okay, this is the pattern which I can see from the data. And then you formulate it and then you present it to your uh, stakeholders. But when it comes to data science, you do answer this question, which is what has happened in the past. But then you also try to predict what will, what will happen in the future. So these are the two questions which you will answer as a data scientist. So that's the very brief difference between data science and data analytics. The second question is, what do you personally like to do? Uh, do you just like to play around the data or... Uh, uh, do some data analysis, maybe create some dashboards and then present it to your stakeholders. If that is something which you really like, I think data analysis is for you. But if you are someone who likes to do all the things that I mentioned, but in addition to that, if you also like to do some predictive modeling, you would like to do some uh, forecasting and you want to predict what will happen in the future and you really like machine learning, deep learning, generative AI or AI as a whole, then I think data science is more for you. So I think from this, you'll be able to decide which one to get into. But then there is also this thing that, especially from data science side, things are moving really fast. And I have already made a video uh, where I discussed about how to stay up to date in uh, a data science world because it is moving so fast. Um, so now the question is, as a fresher, when you are starting out in this uh, data science world and you are, you are at really start of your journey it's just really hard to just learn everything and then get into a job market and uh, try to find a job so i think as a fresher it's relatively easier to get into data analytics as compared to data scientist or data science world simply because uh, i've already talked about what type of skills you need for a data scientist in detail so again you can check out that video uh, but if i just have to briefly talk about uh things you need to know for uh, data scientist you will need to be really good at programming because you will be solving quite a lot of optimization problems and then you will be doing a lot of uh, data cleaning and things like that and then again you will have to do data analysis for that and then after that you will need to uh, train your predictive models so you need to know quite a lot of things whereas for data analytics in a lot of companies you don't even need to know programming language you can do lot of data analytics in excel sheet you can create uh, power bi dashboards you can do some sql query to retrieve the data or even using sql you can do quite a lot of data analysis within the uh, database itself so only with those uh, uh, tools and techniques you will be able to become data analyst and of course you need to know mathematics and statistic part of it because when you try to show your analysis you need to back it with some statistics uh, such as hypothesis testing and things like that if you have done those uh, things um, so yeah with very limited set of tools and techniques and knowledge you will be able to become data analyst and uh, after that maybe you can once you are in the industry once you started gaining some experience i think that's a really good point where you learn about a particular domain which you have got into and then keep an eye on things you need to know to become a data scientist so this way you will also be gaining some experience you will learn a lot more about data analysis and then on the side you will also be learning about uh, machine learning and deep learning so that 
maybe after a year or two, once you have gained mastery on machine learning and deep learning and generative AI and whatever things will come in future, uh, by that time you would have gained uh, up to some extent of expertise, if not mastery, then I think you will be ready to step into a uh, data scientist role. Or maybe you can just use those uh, tools and techniques that you learned to, to be a data scientist within your current role. And you can maybe automate a few things using machine learning, or maybe you can start doing some uh, forecasting. So I think as a fresher, it's uh, relatively easier to get into uh, data analytics. But I'm not saying that it's impossible to get into data science as a fresher. So if you are someone who is good at learning stuff, and if you are really quick, uh, quick, in picking up different concepts. And if you are already really good with your mathematical skills and programming skills, then I think uh, I think the main threshold is where if you are already good with your programming skills and if you are already good with your mathematical skills, I think you can learn data science in a much quicker way and then you will be able to get into data science world. But then if you are someone who is starting out fresh, you don't know programming much, you don't know uh, well, you know maths, but then you are not really comfortable with that. So if you are someone uh, like that, I think data analytics is more for you for now. But then in future, you can always uh, go for data science, uh, data science related jobs. And the last thing that I can also talk about a bit is the salary. So usually for data analysts, the salary is less as compared to data scientists. Uh, but then there are a lot of roles that where I have seen people work as a data analyst but then they are doing all the things that a data scientist should do so in that case i think uh, salary varies but then there will be a lot of companies where they will pay more to a data uh, analyst but then within that same company data scientists will earn more but then when you compare that salary to some other company for a data scientist maybe data analyst in one company uh, is earning more whereas a data scientist in another company is earning less so it depends from company to company as well. Uh, but then in general, if you uh, Google about average salary of a data scientist and average salary of a data uh, analyst, you will always find data scientists average salary more as compared to data analysts. So yeah, I think those are the things which I wanted to discuss in this video. And I've already made a video about uh, skills you need to have to be a data scientist. So you can check out that video maybe here or here. I'm again confused. Um, but yeah, uh, you will be able to find that video. Um, so this is it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Happy learning. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment all those good things. It always gives you more to make such videos for you guys. See you. Bye.